contemporary and traditional Redwork designs are easy to create with creative drawings embroidery software. Learn this simple technique and make your own wonderful outline embroideries. Visit www.creative-drawings.com for more information about different techniques and projects. You can use any design as your base for a Redwork embroidery. Try out many and see what you prefer. Usually, simple is best. Today, we'll start with a graphic file included with your Creative Drawing software. We're going to use design number 393. I'm going to choose the generic hoop of 180 by 130. You can choose any hoop that fits your machine. Click Next. It's very important to select the fabric that you will embroider on. I'm going to choose Embroidery Normal, which is kind of like a normal medium weight fabric, and Standard Normal. A light colored background makes it easy for me to work with my design. I'm going to keep the threads to use it for, and my color palette at Sulky and Finish. And then simply go up to my Manage Hoop Options. I'm going to ro rotate my hoop by 90 degrees. Using the Control A on my keyboard, I'm going to select my full design, and then click and drag to make my design a little bit larger and fit in my hoop. With my design still selected, I'm going to work with the thread palette. Now I just zoomed in just a little bit so I could see more what was going on. When you go down to the thread palette, you want to choose the outline color that you're going to use for your red work embroidery. In my case, I like to use a darker red or like this dark burgundy. I think it gives it a really rich color. Notice when I move my mouse over the upper left corner of that thread color box, you'll see a little pin next to my arrow. That means I'm going to be choosing an outline. Notice right now in the bottom row, which is the threads used, there is no pen. There is The pen is actually on the X or the None box. So we're going to choose the outline. There are no other outlines that are in the design already. Move your mouse over that thread color that you're going to choose for your outline in the upper left corner and left click. Now look what's happened down in the threads that are used row, the bottom row of your thread palette. There's a color box that's the dark burgundy and it has a little pin in the upper left hand corner. The next step is to get rid of all the other areas, the fill areas, any satin stitch areas, and that's super easy when you use the thread palette. Go back over to that X or that None box, and you're going to move your mouse to the bottom right corner of that X box. Left click. What you're going to notice is all of the other work areas or all of the other, excuse me, objects, the fills, the satin stitches went away and all you have left is that dark burgundy color which was your outline color. So basically you're done with your red work embroidery at this point if you wish. Now what I've noticed is I've got a little bit of extra um, lines here in my butterfly's body. So I'm going to zoom in on that area and then I'm going to choose that area and go over to the left hand side and use the Edit Shape Nodes tool. When I left click on there it allows me to click and drag and move that outline over to the edge and then I can actually move the arrows to make my design so it fits in a better way. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on one of the square nodes and you're going to see that I have the ability to change this node to, what, node to what's called to a curve and that gives me more options and now notice how I can change the look of where that outline actually fits. I have more arrows to work with so I'm going to move those so they fit the body of my butterfly just a little bit better. 
going to simply do the same thing again with moving the nodes and the arrows and click and drag over this way as well and change this node and actually I'm going to click on this guy and change this node to a curve. You want to make sure you find a node that you can change to a curve and then just move those little arrows just slightly. We have one more set of nodes to work with and I'm even going to click and delete one of those nodes. It actually makes it easier to work with. The arrows are really fun. You can make your design look a lot different by just moving those arrows. So once you are working with your um, red work design, it is you can basically do whatever you want. You can make it look however you want and I just making it very simple. Once I have that body cleaned up just a little bit. There's one last thing. The traditional red work was done with outline and back stitches by hand with thread that was a lot thicker than our embroidery threads. So to duplicate or make it look more similar, I should say, to a traditional red work design, let's go ahead and select the whole design again. So make sure you're in the rectangular selection and do the control A on your keyboard and then under the tool options you can change the outline the size of the outline to 0.9 millimeters and enter and what that did is that just changed my whole embroidery to a triple stitch so now my red work design is a little bit thicker not quite traditional with the butterfly with the scrolls coming off his wings but the technique again can be used with any design this is more contemporary but it can be used with any design and again the simpler the better so if you try a design you don't like it just try another design it makes it really super easy we hope you've enjoyed learning about doing a red work technique please try different ones you'll have lots of fun and if you have any questions certainly go to www.creative-drawings.com for more information about different techniques